hey guys welcome to my channel this is my first makeup tutorial so i hope you bear with me with that being said gonna get into it initially i'm just prepping my face putting on some lip balm some sunscreen some moisturizer and some eye cream i don't really put oils or primers on my face because i feel like it adds to the um, cake face <laughs> and that's just my personal philosophy however you're gonna see me use a lot of um, this spray in the video because it's just keeps everything smooth and intact and in place for me now it's definitely important to use eye cream because the eyes can get really cakey and in real life it could just be looking gunky up there okay now i'm gonna start my makeup application uh, i'm gonna use my nars foundation in the shade macau now this is like my third favorite foundation my first is actually estee lauder but um this will do for now <laughs> because it's just a normal day nothing special and i'm using a very dense foundation brush from sephora to go ahead and get that um, all in my skin as you can see it's a flawless skin fit um, <coughs> flawless finish and right now I'm using my baby skin I think this is good for the under eye and the nose area and just places where concealer and foundation can get a little patchy I'm gonna go in with my brush and I'm just gonna use some Anastasia 7 spray to go ahead and set that in I'm using my um, Juvia's Place Concealer and some e.l.f. Concealer to kind of create this concealer gradient to give me a bright under eye. And then, um, you know, just doing what I do and make sure I, you know, keep my face moist to help it, you know, seamlessly blend in. Next, what you're going to see me do is actually take a beauty blender. Um, get it a little bit moist and go ahead and put it in my Laura Mercier translucent powder and use the translucent powder to um, press on the makeup like while I'm doing it versus like afterwards and with this you know it takes a little practice to get right so take as many much time as you need to so when it comes to the under eye concealer I alternate between a brush and a beauty blender so that way you know sometimes the beauty blender it can kind of cake up so i like to use both now a huge portion of this video cut out where i um you know did some contouring so yeah what i use for contouring is my favorite which is a black radiant stick i've tried a lot um other ones of like more expensive brands like this is the one and what i'm using is like an angle buffing type of brush from sonia kashik this is a brand mm -hmm. that's popular at target to contour my face now you guys i know you still see some flaws i have my piercing scars i used to have piercings right there but a we're not filters and i think a lot of people are fixated on trying to look like a filter <laughs> like guys we're human beings everything we don't have to be flawless as long as we look good that's what matters so right now i'm just going over everything with my um, powder brush to get everything smooth as far as the translucent powder and i'm prepping my eyebrows i brush them up and i'm gonna be using my covergirl eyeliner today i usually use my benefit cosmetics one but i can't find it but this one to do now this is actually eyeliner it's not an eyebrow pencil but i've been using this for about six years before i got fancy and upgraded um, with this one i just simply outline the brow in my desired shape and i take a brush and um, use like fill it in with the like re residual leftovers because this pencil is heavy and like concentrated so you don't really need to fill it all the way in now i learned this trick from the girls <laughs> as they say using eyeliner glue as like eyelash glue and this really works y'all i am shook it by how well it keeps your brows in place and you don't have to worry it doesn't pull out your hair you just use some uh, 
baby oil or Vaseline and some micellar cleansing water and you'll be all right as far as actually removing it so I'm gonna go in with my concealer this is a $1 concealer brush from ELF and I am going to underline my brows just to define them with the concealer now what you want to do after you do this is you let it sit for about three to five minutes for the best results in my personal opinion so that's what i do and make sure to take your time with doing this don't rush i did speed up the video for you know to not make it so long but i take my time and when it comes to the overline in the brows just to um, completely sculpt out the shape you want I prefer to use concealer uh, not concealer foundation in my skin tone because I do not like a halo brow I just don't I like to do what looks natural and I just let that sit as well and now what you're seeing me do is I'm gonna go in with my favorite blush of all times it's a Fenty cream blush and this looks really really good on black women like coral like coral orangey type of blushes it looks so good um and i'm just going over everything with my foundation brush now i took out two palettes i'm gonna insert some pictures this is a juvia's palette i put the um put everything in the description and i'm just gonna lightly buff that color on my eyelid because that's just like the base color for it all like um as you're gonna see it's gonna transition from a dark to light now finally minutes later i'm just you know getting out that concealer and just lightly buffing that color into my eyes now i'm gonna switch to my morphe palette and i am going to i don't know how to describe it but i'm just adding a darker shade um to as like a gradient i'm not familiar with makeup terminology but uh yeah <laughs> that's just what i'm doing i'm taking a darker brown and creating another transition then i'm taking an even darker brown which is more so like a charcoal brown and i'm using my fingers because i feel like if you do the brush first it apply it with the brush is going to give raccoon so i take my fingers and put it right in the center of my eyelid and you know blend it out and i'm taking another shade that's similar but with some glitter just for some razzle dazzle so as you can see the transition uh, is it's really good in terms of like creating that nice natural everyday not super dramatic smoky eye so as you can see yeah it's not too dramatic it's just perfect so now i'm going to use my nars eyeliner this is the darkest shade grand via and i love this eyeliner because i have very sensitive eyes it doesn't irritate my eyes it's very smooth it glides on perfectly and it actually lasts for like 10 hours or more so what i'm doing is i'm taking the same shades that i use on the top part of my eye to do the same thing in reverse but on the bottom to just kind of give it some death and not leave my under eyes bare yeah so like everything in reverse pretty much sorry if i'm not describing it the best way that i can now i'm taking my black radiance mascara I, I rarely wear lashes like this is the best mascara I've ever used in my opinion I've used mascaras that were 20 30 dollars and this one right here is that girl <laughs> for only a whopping three dollars so I mean you can add lashes here whatever you prefer to do now I'm going to go into the lips with my favorite lip liner of all times by Sephora it's called molasses and I'm just gonna line my lips the way I like to everyone does it differently so yeah and then I'm gonna go in with a um, dose of colors lipstick that I have that's kind of like a nice neutral brown and an elf um, lip pumping gloss in the shade 
pink cosmo for a nice little brown skin girl lip combo and add a marilyn moreau dot for razzle dazzle <laughs> so with that being said here is the completed look a nice everyday smoky eye you can wear anywhere work school date um yeah and <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial let me know what you think let me know if you try it out and yeah thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video